Myanmar is back in the headlines because of scenes like these. The country is in turmoil after the military swept away the government the people voted for. Aung San Suu Kyi, the democracy icon, has been removed from power. So how did we get here? Myanmar used to be known as Burma and was a British colony until 1948. But from 1962, it was largely ruled by a military junta which crushed any opposition. At least 3,000 people were killed in the pro-democracy movement in 1988. Dozens more were killed in 2007 Saffron Revolution, led by monks. Aung San Suu Kyi rose to prominence as one of the strongest voices of peaceful resistance. As a result, she spent years in and out of house arrest. Myanmar, meanwhile, became a pariah state, suffering under international pressure. But in 2010, as the military began loosening its grip on power, Aung San Suu Kyi was finally released. Five years later, her party stormed to victory in the country's first democratic election in decades. But she saw her popularity plunge overseas as she refused to stand up for Myanmar's Rohingya Muslim minority. Her supporters said she was just trying to appease the military. After all, behind the scenes, it still held enormous power. At home, she was still loved by the majority Buddhist population. And in 2020, her party won re-election by a landslide, almost wiping out the pro-military opposition. The army immediately began to allege voter fraud without offering any proof. Fears grew that the government might be overthrown once again. And then, on the 1st of February, the people of Myanmar woke up to a coup unfolding. Aung San Suu Kyi and other civilian leaders had been arrested. MPs had been rounded up and communication blocked. The military announced a year-long state of emergency, promising new elections. But the people, scared of returning to the dark days of the junta, refused to be silenced. Slowly, at first, and then coming out onto the streets, they demanded democracy be restored. No one knows how this will end, or even why the military chose to act when it already had so much power. But everyone remembers the violence of the past.